I cannot believe I'm actually doing this. Ah! Today is literally a dream come true. I am heading on to Quantum of the Seas by Royal Caribbean for a eight night cruise to the South Pacific by myself. And this is my first time cruising with Royal Caribbean and I'm so excited. It's just freaky. So anyway, yeah, I'm going by myself because no one that I knew had a passport. Plans just kept falling through with people. So I booked this eight night South Pacific cruise that goes to Vanuatu, Mystery Island and New Caledonia. And I got a balcony room on deck 13. Here I am in Brisbane about to get an Uber and go to the cruise port. <laughs> like I actually, it has not really hit me yet, but like I'm going to cry. Last thing that I want to say is that we are sending a prayer to the world right now. To the universe, I'm sending out the energy. Please. Do not let me lose anything. Do not let me lose my passport. Please don't confiscate my drone. Please let my GoPro work. Do not let the GoPro break. Don't let me get third degree sunburns like I did last time. And please let me make some friends. Send that out there. Um, if you saw my last cruise video, which was with Princess, a lot went wrong. Um, we're not gonna talk about though because that's negative energy. Mm. We're going to bring positive energy into this one, but... <laughs> so I'm just waiting at the hotel lobby. I've got my Uber coming. Alex, oh my god, we have Alex. I just received a message that the cruise isn't going to the South Pacific anymore. It's going to Hobart and Sydney. Are you serious? I'm going to cry. So after I received that lovely message, I got in the Uber and acted like nothing happened. But then I called my mum and just completely broke down. And I just said, what the heck is happening? Like, not even on the boat and it's already ruined. The Uber driver kept asking me questions about cruising and blah, 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 blah. And I was just not in the mood to talk about cruises. But I powered on. The drone has made it, but we're not going to the South Pacific. Definitely not. I had my cry, but that's okay. Let's go. Which one are we getting? We're on deck 13. This is insane. Now, I don't know what room number I am. All the rooms are shut off. I can't get into my room. Where do I go? It says the rooms are not ready. So I'm with this until 2 p.m. Awesome. We're gonna head up to the top deck. I just did my master station sort of check-in thing. But I don't know when we get access to the room, so I'm just gonna go have a look around. Okay, so this is a no through road as well, so we're going down. This is gonna be so fun. That's what I'm talking about. <gasps> I can smell the spa. So, this is the indoor pool. Lovely. Damn, it's bright. Right, welcome to my ship tour of Quantum of the Sea. This is not how I expected this video to go, but we're gonna make the most of it anyway, and this boat is sick. So this is lovely Brisbane over here. Inside pool there. This is the outside pool. It's all closed off still. Don't know why. That is the Northern Star, which we'll be going on later. That's me. Screw the weather. Screw the world. I just realized I went the wrong way. I don't want a massive debt walk in the heat. Oh. Seize the day, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, this is my favorite section. So this right here is a surf simulator. So you literally go surfing on there. And then you have a skydiving simulator. I've booked in for that tomorrow. Like I've made a reservation, so I'm definitely doing it. Oh, I'm sweating. Oh. So yeah, as I mentioned, I got in the Uber and I got a message from one of the guys from Royal Caribbean. And he said that we're not going to the South Pacific anymore because there's like stage five cyclones. So we're going to be going to Hobart in Sydney. <laughs> I bought, I literally bought a brand new hat. No, too bad. I brought snorkels with me, got my GoPro, got my drone. I had so much organized and I was so excited to go because on my last cruise, another port got canceled as well. And I was so excited to go snorkeling and use my new GoPro, but no, nah, not happening this time. So, you know, maybe, maybe next time. Like there's nothing I can do. I'm not gonna sit about it and cry all day. So it is what it is. 
I'm still here on this boat. There's plenty to do on this boat anyway. This is like my dream ship and I cannot believe I'm here. I'm just filled up with so much anger that I haven't really processed it yet. But even if we do have to go to Hobart or whatever, I'm just gonna stay on the boat because I'm not going to Hobart. I can't believe it. Like what could have been so good? My passport was ready to go, you know, first international holiday by myself. Yeah, yeah, right. So this is where they have, guess what? Bumper car. And roller skating as well. So here's a brief little tour of the outside deck. So they have the indoor pool and outdoor pool and then the adults only area as well. I love this sort of space. Like it's just so peaceful and nice and so pretty. I was just trying to hold on to hope that, you know, maybe things would change and maybe we'll get to go to the islands. But I was genuinely so gutted. I just didn't want to start crying. So I was trying to be positive. <laughs> it's so good. I'm just going to be in one of these little, little pods. They just announced that we're going to Hobart and we'll have an overnight in Sydney. And you know, Sydney's all right. Like I'm pissed about the South Pacific, but at the end of the day, there is nothing I can do. The passport was nice while it lasted, but we won't be needing it this time. We'll try again next time. I think this is really pretty. Like I love the brown. Like it really accentuates the my legs. Okay, I just got an email, an updated itinerary from the cruise. Dear guests, along with our chief meteorologist, we've been monitoring the developing cyclone Gabriel around Vanuatu and New Caledonia. To maintain a safe journey, we've modified the itinerary. Now visit Hobart, Tasmania, Sydney, Australia. And got no tears not to cry. Sorry to try and ease my pain and kill some time, I decided to test out all of the pools. So I start off with the indoor one. Like, these pools are just so nice. Like, they're just so big compared to the other cruise ships. I just love them. And, like, I'm very much a water person, so I was in the pool, like, most of the entire time on this cruise. Their spas are next level. Like, they're huge, so warm, clean, just, like, perfect. I spent, like, an hour here, and then I went to the adults-only area, too. Like, look how pretty it is. This ship is just stunning. There's a new cruise. All right, and continuing on with my tour, this is the main buffet. Like everything with Royal Caribbean, it's just bigger and better than any other cruise line that I have ever been on. Like, there is so much food on here, it's so diverse. Yeah, there's literally something for everyone. So then I just walked around the boat for a bit, explored like the main sort of promenade deck thing. Um, there's this place called 270, and they've got a cafe there as well, but then it joins out to this beautiful seated area, and they do shows here too. It's one of my favorite spots on the ships. Like it's just perfect to just sit and relax and get some peace, but it also has amazing nightlife too. They also have a bionic bar on board, which you'll see a bit more later, but there's literally robots that make your drinks. It's next level. This is the gym. Oh my gosh. Like again, best gym that I've ever seen on a cruise ship. And it's just so light and like spacious and the, the equipment's really good as well. It's not old like some of the others. Um, but yeah, then I got access to the room, so we will continue the tour later on. Oh my god. No way. <gasps> this is all for me. Hey, you open it. Slide. <gasps> oh my god. So this is my room, bathroom's in here, wow, very nice, wow, much better than the princess bathroom, that's for sure. Wardrobe, a couch, another wardrobe and a safe. The bed is stunning, might I add. This is the letter that I was dreading, um, we won't get there yet, and the balcony. <laughs> Well, these are the excursions I was meant to go on. Cultural Village and Blue Lagoon Tour. Day trip to paradise. But it's just really disappointing because the whole reason I booked this cruise was to experience the South Pacific. I wanted to do the islands and snorkel with the fish and use my GoPro and use my drone. I haven't seen any potential friend candidates. No one really looks friendly or like they want to chat, but that's okay. That's how it was on the last cruise for the first couple days, but I'm sure we'll be fine. Before I head to the pool again, I'm going to empty out my suitcase and put everything in the wardrobe. So in here, I'm hanging up all of my dresses and then I'm going to grab out everything else that kind of needs to be folded and put it away in a drawer. Not even many bathers. They can all go there. So in here we've got my formal dresses. 
rest in peace snorkel gear. Um, a beach bag that I was going to take. Again, rest in peace. My shoes, high heels. My medicine bag and a book. In here, we've got jumpers, which these are the only two warm clothes that I wore. Then people are like, shut up! Um, jumper and a jacket, that's all I bought. Here's the fun section. So we've got my GoPro drone, accessories, all that sort of stuff. Bay the drawer, shorts, tops, and a dress. Okay, we're into black bathers. <laughs> So I was initially going to do this thing like right away, but after seeing this girl on there and I had my bikini on, I was getting a bit intimidated because I just thought, you know, I'm going to flash all of these guys sitting there and it just was not the right time. Then I went to the top deck and watched as we sailed away. I did shed a few tears, did FaceTime my sister. Like I was really trying to be positive, but I just felt like I failed. Like I know lots of people on this cruise had it worse than me because they... Some people flew from overseas or they were on their honeymoon. Like I can't help but feel sad because I came all this way um, and like it's not the cruise line's fault, it's just my luck. And some things just don't happen or just aren't meant to be when we want them to. I was still really grateful that I was there, just trying to keep being happy. All right, well, probably gonna go and get some dinner soon. I wanna go to one of the restaurants, but I'm gonna be doing it by myself. So that's gonna be interesting. I found that was an island. Do we get movies on here? Crime no. <gasps> Don't worry, darling. I wonder if this stuff is free. Continuing on our adventures, I went for a walk through the casino, which by the way is so pretty. Like I love how pretty casinos are, but I hate them. Then I went to a lovely dinner by myself. So I got some chicken thing and some Indian. It was so good. I'm back from dinner. I'm freezing. It was so weird being there by myself. Mm. But my mission for tonight is to just have a conversation with at least one random. So I'm just on my little night walk of, I do this every time I go on a cruise, the first night I'll go explore the whole ship. This boat is massive, I've done over 20,000 steps today and I'm doing skydiving first thing tomorrow morning, what a way to start the day. I'm not feeling too great and I stacked it so bad before, I was walking to the pool and I slipped in front of everyone, so that was a lot of fun. I'm back. I feel like I'm melting. I'm done. 19,684 steps today. I really hope I make some friends tomorrow. Please. Because I had so much fun last time. I've done so much walking around. I can't believe the cyclones. Why? We. Oh, wow. I am losing my mind. I've lost my charger. Luckily there's a USB slot in there. What is happening to me? Every time that you get undressed. Hey, hey, Captain. The world could be ours tonight. You think I don't want to run to you? Good night, everybody. Good morning everyone! Today I woke up at 5am to watch the sunrise but it was kind of already risen and you couldn't see it from my side of the boat. So I went back to sleep and it's now 7 and I think I'm going to go to the gym even though I don't want to because I'm exhausted but I want to go to the gym anyway. And we've got skydiving today! Oh my god, look at this! That is so cute! This is the moment we have been waiting for. If you are ever on a Royal Caribbean cruise, you have to do the eye fly. Look at this outfit. Anyway, <laughs> so this was the instructor. This was not me. He is insane. Like, the things they were doing was just nuts. And I thought, oh, you know, like, that looks easy. I can spin around in a tube. No. No, no, no. It is hard. 
So you need to go through like a whole safety video of how to position yourself because like one wrong move and you're gonna hurt yourself. So this was me getting ready to go. I was freaking out. I was so scared because it's like a massive fan underneath you. Um, yeah, there we go. Woohoo. <laughs> it looks easy, but it is so scary and so hot. Like I was panicking and I was so stiff. And yeah, this instructor was just helping us the first time, like, you know, get photos and find our balance if <laughs> there's like no balance in there. Um, and then we got like a second go as well to try it. He managed to like go a few times. I was getting a little bit wobbly, but it is so fun. Like it's freaky as, but it's fun. Like, look at me go. <laughs> I find it so funny. Like I look like a weird little bean. Um, we, <laughs> but yeah, like, I don't know. I don't know how they do their flips. It's just, this was hard enough for me. And all I do, it was doing was just holding one position. It's so much fun. If you're ever on it, you have to try it. The best thing is when your hair sticks up through the helmet and you look like some sort of like afro seagull looking thing i don't know um but yeah look at me go here like i was fully floating <laughs> i find it so funny but it's so much fun like look at me go here like <laughs> i just find that so funny oh my gosh but seriously like please try it if you ever get the chance please do it and after starting off my morning with some skydiving i decided to continue the adrenaline rush by doing some boogie boarding so this is the first step to working up to surfing. And again, pleasantly surprised with how hard this was. Like, I couldn't even make it off the wall to start off with because I was kept flying back and then I fully flipped off. So that was like really, really humbling. Um, but we got the hang of it in the end. And so you, it's just mainly about balancing your weight on that thing. And like, you need to not be scared of it. It's difficult. And if you don't do it properly, it is like you can get hurt which unfortunately did happen to some people on this cruise. Um, but yeah, I was mainly just learning how to like balance my weight, move side to side, and then you can let go of your arms, like that's the next step, and then you work your way up onto your knees. Um, that was really hard though, like I couldn't do it in this first day, but I ended up doing it the next day. Also, quick moment of appreciation for the guy in the background in the eye flight. Look at that, like what the heck? You saw how awkward I was doing it. This dude is just insane. But anyway, here's me, got up on my knees, and then we stacked it. whoop de doo Then I went on to the Northern Star to continue my daily activities. I booked this before the cruise, and I got the extended version. again continue the thrill we had roller skating on tonight i made some friends finally and was doing it with them um i only fell over once so i was happy with that i mean like what the heck like here i am doing roller skating on a cruise ship i don't even understand how that is possible but it was so cool today has been much better I've made some friends. I've been really busy today. I've just done a whole bunch of random things. And I also saw someone who I used to work at Coles with. So I'm having dinner with uh, this family that I met. Then we're all going to go to a show, which will be fun. Can't get this off. This is what I'm wearing for formal nights. I wore this for my birthday, but reusing it. I'm so excited to see this show tonight. It's going to be so good. Today was so much better. Overall, things are going well, as well as you could get with this current situation. It is a very big shame about the fact that we have all packed for a tropical destination and we're going to Hobart. If you're ever on a cruise, you need to see the productions that they do. They are amazing. What is happening to me? <laughs> Woo! Thank you for watching. Get yourself on a Royal Caribbean cruise because they are amazing.